This is the 50 watt model, which is more than hot enough to burn the staples into any plastic quickly. The instructions tell you to hold the trigger on for about five seconds and then apply it to the plastic, but that is way hot. It's more than hot enough within a second or two. The wire gets very hot, but the tip of the gun is cool to the touch as soon as you pull it off the staple. Inside corner, outside corner, big squiggle, little squiggle. The corners aren't 90 degrees, but you can lay them over on a bias to fit just about any angle. They have little nicks so you can bend the tails back and forth and snap them off beneath the surface. They don't always work, and then you have to use the cutters. I had a broken refrigerator drawer, and I planned to use the staples and then solvent weld it afterwards to make it extra strong. The small squiggles go across a brake. I'm throttling the trigger on and off. I put it against the plastic before I heat it up because it's only an eighth of an inch thick and I don't want to burn through it. And you can see it goes in very quickly. The big squiggles run along a brake, so they zigzag back and forth across it. You don't want to pull the gun off until you've let the plastic cool a few seconds and it's strong enough to hold it. Some people say to give it a little twist once it's melted down into there to lock it in better, but I haven't found that to be necessary, and it's a little iffy when you're working with thin plastics. You could uh, blow through the other side. I like to leave the tail pieces on until I'm satisfied with how they're set, because you can always put the gun on and adjust them if necessary. It turned out really strong. I was going to solvent weld it, but, but I decided not to. Not all the tails snap off as intended, so then you have to use the cutters, and that leaves a nasty sharp bit standing proud, so I use a rotary tool with a grinder to take it down just slightly below the surface so it won't snag anything. I had intended to uh, wet sand it through several grit stages and then polish it, but in the end I wound up just using a flat mill bastard file to take the mushed up plastic down flush, and it turned out fine for the intended use. It doesn't show it's at the back of the drawer. came out very nice.